The title of my qualitative research is The Pros and Cons of Mobile Games from a High School Learner's Point of View. My name is Richard A. Delgado, a EDDLM student from DepEd Sorsogon City, Sorsogon National High School with a contact number of 0950886584 and with an email of richard.delgado120 at gmail.com. Here is a picture of the school wherein I conduct my qualitative research. For the introduction of the study, mobile gaming is a recurrent trend that is accessible to any age or gender. This poses negative and positive effects on the gamer and the people around him. In the field of education, some academy believes that mobile gaming affects learning and serves as distraction in the children's learning. They also believe that it affects their health and socialization as well. However, studies are needed to judge the advantages and disadvantages of mobile gaming. It is important to solicit the viewpoint of the learners who engage in this activity. An in-depth interview will provide concept and perception on gaming based on their on-hand experiences. Smith's Kramke and his page 2012 indicate that mobile learning games have the potential to bring about effective as well as cognitive learning outcomes. It has been demonstrated that video game addicts suffered poorer mental health and cognitive functioning and increased emotional difficulties such as enhanced depression and anxiety as well as more social isolation from Stockdale and Coin 2018. The research general objective is to understand the learner's purpose of playing mobile games. The advantages and disadvantages of gaming will be revealed also. The researcher will find the point of view of the participants as to the extent of the effects of gaming. The study will also provide healthy tips in mobile gaming to battle addiction. For the objectives, number one, is to understand the behaviors and purpose of learners in mobile gaming. Number two is to identify the advantages and the disadvantages of mobile games on high school learner point of view. And number three is to determine ways to overcome the disadvantages of mobile games. Here is the framework of the study. Start with gaming purposes that will lead to advantages and disadvantages and on the, dis on the advantages it provides socialization and entertainment while in the disadvantage it leads to addiction while the main objective is to have a, res a gamer who is responsible when it comes to playing games. For the methods this study used a qualitative research design. The researcher conducted an in-depth interview with the students' participants to traverse their viewpoints. The method was based on the phenomenology as the researcher eagerness to explore their perceptions and real-time experiences. Armstrong 2005 implicate that task of phenomenology is to describe the structures of experience in particular consciousness, the imagination, relations with other persons, and the situatedness of the human subject in society and history. It permits the researchers to deal into the perspective and understanding and live experiences of the participants. In the results and discussions, the participants age profile is between 13 to 15 years old and composed of two girls and three boys. The common games played by the respondents are Mobile Legends, Call of Duty, and Roblox. Most of them play every day ranging from 2 to 5 hours but one respondent played 6 to 12 hours. For the purposes of mobile gaming, it is socialization. Respondent ML stated that mobile games are stress reliever 
it is also a hobby and platform to find new friends and to bond with them. He can also earn money by selling his Mobile Legend account to 7,000 to 15,000 pesos. This is supported by Savage Woman by saying gaming helps her to relax and to make friends since the pandemic don't allow them to go outside. Respondent Akuma, Bogart, and Lee Ann also states that mobile games allow them to have fun with friends and also gaming battles boredom and serve as a pastime. On supporting studies on socialization, socialization is the process whereby an individual's standards, skills, motives, attitudes, and behaviors change to conform to those regarded as desirable and appropriate for his or her present and future role in any particular society by Park and Morris 2008. The gamers feel the needed comfort from their peers as part of their growth and humanity. Certain games help users build a social community such as chess with friends and word feud. Salinas R. 2020 implied that games allow users to chat with strangers or friends as they play against them. These games provide players with the ability to communicate with friends and make acquaintances through chats. Game users have said this is why they play the game so much. They get to have fun and make companions, which is a stark difference to not being able to socialize with many in person. Hence, communication is a must for them amidst this pandemic. This enables them to bond and feel the socialization environment which is important in this new normal scheme. Advantages Friendship Respondent Savage Woman stated that she made a lot of friends. This is supported by Respondent Bogart who revealed I met the strangers that became my friend. Friendship is one of the most important relationships in our lives. This helps us express ourselves in a safe environment and provide us with a help support group when we needed it. These capabilities have enhanced teens' opportunities to interact and spend time with friends and others in meaningful ways while gaming by Len Hart 2015. More than half of teens have made new friends online and a third of them, 36%, say they met their new friend or friends while playing video games. Among boys who have made friends online, 57% have done so by playing video games online compared with just 13% of girls who have done so. Nowadays, we see people gathering in a corner while playing games. This is also building friendship and peer-to-peer -peer teamwork and community. Motivation and Gray Matter Respondent ML uttered the benefit of playing mobile games is gaining the appetite to study well. He said, mobile game serve as my inspiration. Supported by Respondent Akuma, gaming improves thinking. Motivation and gray matter is associated with muscle control, memories, perception, and spatial navigation. BEC Crew 2015 reiterated that gaming is really a workout for your mind disguised as fun. Studies have shown that playing video games regularly may increase gray matter in the brain and boost brain connectivity. Gamers de develop ability in puzzle solving, strategizing, and persistency in finishing goal. Learners need to be positive thinkers and allow oneself to bounce back after defeat. Evidence also demonstrates that playing video games increases the size and competence of parts of the brain responsible for visual spatial skills. A person's ability to identify visual and spatial relationships among objects.
escape from problem. Respondently unstated gaming can distract you from problems. Delius, Moragea, Shementic, Noyens, Melseri, Belux, 2019 in an article featured the result that showed participant had more positive attitudes toward features depicting virtual environments than toward those depicting real environments. Furthermore, those participants who frequently use video games escape real life and were highly engaged in video gaming had a more pronounced positive uh, implicit attitude toward virtual environment. Other gamers utilize gaming to forget even for a minute their actual situation or problems that they cannot yet solve. In some instances, this is a negative in nature, but for learners, we still cannot cope with the harsh realities of life. Gaming is a escape portal for them to alleviate their problems. Disadvantages Waste of time Respondent Bogart and ML expressed that playing leads to laziness, eating and sleeping disorders, and unable to read and answer learning modules needed in school. Supported by respondent Savage Woman stating it is wasting time. You can learn trash talk or bad words making your mind unfocus to studies but in our health and no time for house duties. Ways of Time China Youth Daily comments that in a recent survey of 513 students from 84 colleges nationwide found that 34.89% of them spend a lot of time playing games on their smartphones and 42.69% play occasionally. Only 18.13% responded they never play mobile games. If students spend too much time playing games on their smartphones, it is no idle worry to say they are wasting their time. The mobile gaming pose great problems to gamers if not properly managed. This also shows disadvantages in health, time, studies, and attitude as well. Kids can't focus on their studies because they are too distracted by mobile phones, games, and they can cause health issues by Sinha 2019. Some argue that modern smartphone games also contain knowledge, but that knowledge is limited compared with the knowledge that can be obtained from books and interactions with other people in real life. Respondent Lian added that you can get addicted to mobile gaming. Ratini 2021 said that the percentage of players who meet the proposed criteria for addiction to video games is small. It's estimated to be somewhere between 1% and 9% of all gamers, adults and kids alike. It's more common in boys and men than girls and women. Mobile game addiction was positively associated with social anxiety, depression, and loneliness. A further analysis on gender difference in the path from mobile game addiction to these mental health outcomes was examined, and the results revealed that male adolescents tend to report more social anxiety when they use mobile game addictively. Though mobile game addiction poses lesser effect, but as parent and teacher, we should look out for it to not lead to severe consequences. Conclusions Based on the findings of this study, the researcher hereby offers the following conclusions. Mobile games are played in a portable device that provide relaxation and stimulation to the gamers. The study found out that this serves as avenue and tool for the participants to socialize and a form of recreation amidst this pandemic. Gaming also improves gray matter and build up friendship. The common disadvantages in health, time, studies, and change in attitudes are acknowledged by the participants. This is good finding that gamers also are aware of negative effects of mobile gaming. Kone Awan, Walker, and Arteaga 2010 support this by stating that mobile games can be used to promote positive behavioral beliefs. Based from the interview, mobile gaming does not affect the academic engagement and performance of the learners. 
This is based on their general average from first quarter to fourth quarter. The participants waived the negative effects of mobile gaming in health and their responsibilities in the family. In support, they don't let the games threat concerns on their lives and insist others to be a responsible gamer. As per recommendation, parents should look out for the needs of the learner participant to socialize and communicate. They should also monitor the content of the games and the people they are playing against. Teachers should perceive mobile gaming equitably and understand its advantages and disadvantages. Moreover, they should have clear understanding and healthy approach in dealing with learners who are in mobile gaming. Teachers can also channel the concept of game-based game-based approach in learning teaching process. This can stimulate learners' engagement and integrate gaming to learning. Mobile gaming establish a prerequisite in high school learner life. It shows positive and negative effects in personal, physical, social, and psychological aspects. Everything in moderation is good, but beyond that needs control. Discipline is needed and awareness of the disadvantages is crucial. As Matt Sander quoted, the greater your knowledge of the goodness and the grace of God in your life, the more likely you are to praise Him in storm. That's all. Thank you. And here are my references.